What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. Today, guys, I am going to be showing you my new campground setup. It's a lot smaller than my previous setups, and I really, really like it. I am also going to be cooking and making some cheddar broccoli soup. It's been chilly here on the campgrounds, um, just in like the mid 60s. And so I thought soup would be appropriate for today. So let me get into it and show you guys my latest campground setup. Okay, the first thing that is new that I changed is the floor. I have this really nice, like straw-like floor. It's really huge. I actually have it folded in half. I bought it really too big, <laughs> but that is what it is. <laughs> but I really like it because it's very easy to uh, sweep some dirt and stuff off of it as well. It dries well, so I'm really liking it so far. I actually had it at my last campground, but I didn't put it out. This is the first time that I put it out. Then I have this really, really nice chair. I'm telling you, I could not take the $5 or $8 Walmart chairs any longer. So I went ahead and splurged and I bought this X gear chair. It is so comfortable. If you see the little brown piece going across the lower part of the chair. That is for your lower back support. This chair is really, really comfortable. Man, oh man, look at this. This chair is really, really comfortable. I really, really like this chair. I can sit in this chair for hours, boy, and not feel any like discomfort in my back or anything. So I'm really, really digging this chair, guys. The next thing that is new is this towel rack. I wanted to have some place that I can put my towels, my dishcloths, my uh, dish rags and things, my washcloth once I come out of the shower or finish cooking to hang and dry. This is very easy to assemble. Just disconnect the base and then you have the long poles and it should be very easy to store and not take up a lot of space. So that's really nice to have because I used to just throw my uh, towel and my washcloth behind the back uh, headrest of my uh, van. And then I thought, you know what? I need something that I can hang my towels out and let them dry. The next thing that is new, and I am super, super, super excited about this, is this little oven that you see right here. I saw Mattel with this oven, and of course, I had to have one for myself. I, I got this yesterday, delivered here at the campground. I actually uh, tried it out yesterday. I didn't cook anything. I just wanted to uh, monitor the temperature control on it because of a lot of the uh, remarks or uh, reviews said that it was hard to control the temperature. So I just wanted to uh, give it a shot and see. And it was mainly staying around two no, actually 300 to 350. And that's hot enough for me to be able to cook a lot of things in it. So I'm very super excited to uh, cook something in that for, or bake something in that for you guys. And it will be coming up soon. Now, the last thing that is new on the campground site this time around is my canopy. I got so sick and tired of dealing with those big, 10 by 10 canopies, struggling to put them up, taking them down, cleaning them off. I just, I just had it with that. I had enough experience now on campgrounds to know what I like and what I do not like. And I did not like dealing with those big 10 by 10 canopies. So I looked online and I got this nice eight by four canopy and no, not eight by four, it's a six by four. My bad, six by four canopy. This baby is small, but it has just enough room in it for me to be sheltered from the sun or the rain. And it was so easy to uh, manage and put up. I even got some tension lines on two of the sides. I would have put 
them on all four of the sides but the ground here is just not forgiving <laughs> it's just not it just don't agree with stakes so i put the two that i was able to stake down and i love this it's the right height i put it up really easy and i'm really enjoying it so i'm really really digging this new campsite one thing I tried to accomplish, um, being someone who likes to go to different campgrounds, I want to be able to be uh, ready for whatever type of campsite that I may run into. It's all about options with me. As you can see, I don't have my tent out and this is going to be a campground that I will not be putting my tent out because it's a one person campsite. And as you can see, I just got enough room to put my van here and this small canopy set up which which I absolutely love but I may go to another another campground and I might have the room to put up a tent to back my van up and cook out of the kitchen so it's all about options for me and being prepared for whatever the campsites uh, might have but now let's get in get let's let's get over here and and cook some broccoli some cheddar broccoli soup because it has been chilly like i said uh here at the campground y'all see i got long sleeves on i got a t-shirt under here and i was about to put on some long pants but i said no nah, i'm gonna go ahead and put some shorts on because the sun is out a little bit all right i bought this pizza because i'm going to try this pizza out in that oven not today probably tomorrow <clears throat> I don't have no space in my refrigerator, so I just kind of have it sitting on top of the refrigerator and I think it'll be okay until tomorrow. Uh, I might try to cut it in uh, half and try to get it in there, but for now, it's okay right there. All right, guys, I'm going to be fixing some Idaho cheddar broccoli hearty soup made with real broccoli and cheddar cheese. Now, this was part of a care package that Richard T sent me. I'll probably show you guys some of the things that's in the care package. It was very thoughtful. I've already thanked Richard for uh, the care package. And while I'm thanking people, I also want to thank everybody who sent me cards. <clears throat> when I got back to PA from Canada, I was greeted by a mailbox full of cards. And I'm going to share the names of those cards. Uh, once I get this soup started and I also want to thank Elaine Elaine sent me some more seasonings as well as a nice little wood uh, special wooded uh, work thing I, I don't know what exactly to call it but I'll show I'll show you guys what it is it has carpe diem, diem on it which means seize the day and thank you guys for everything you guys have been very supportive during my uh, time with my mom passing and I feel like I haven't yet told you guys and thank you guys for all of your support during that time all right let's get into some cooking now I really wanted my first meal for you guys on this new uh, unit here I wanted it to be something really complex and really nice but when I looked over and saw this soup, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something nice and easy and chill today. And the wind is blowing a little bit. I may have to go get a rock and put on here. That's what I'm gonna do. Give me a minute, you guys. All right, this, this calls for four cups of water. Yeah, on a stove top, heat four cups of water to a bowl and a two quart pot i don't know what the size of this pot is but it's going to do and then whisk in the contents of the pouch and stir occasionally all right sounds easy so i went to the grocery store today and because on my way here to the campground i stopped at two different walmarts and a weiss to try to see if they had a, a water fill tank a water fill uh, station and none of them did. I was so frustrated on my way here. <laughs> so
so I went to the store, the grocery store today, and I just bought five of the gallon. I just bought five of these and I put four of them in, so I have fresh water, drinking water in uh, the jug now. So let's go ahead and put four cups of these in here. I tell you, that feels so good to be doing that. These little, these little pine things have been falling off the trees. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> it felt so good to be able to do that. All right, the water is on. I'm gonna bring it to a boil. And the only thing I have to do Only thing I have to do is find my whisk. All righty. I'm still getting used to trying to, you know, manipulate my way around the kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna put in some extra broccoli because I'm almost guessing that the broccoli that's in here are gonna be like little chopped up bits of broccoli. So I'm gonna put some more broccoli in there. All right, we're gonna let that come to a boil and then I'm just gonna go ahead, add it in there. And in the meantime, I'm gonna share some of these cards and thank these people who sent me these cards. I appreciate it. All right, guys, I went and got the cards and I wanna thank uh, everyone who sent me a card. Uh, Jody Mitchell. Hey, thank you, Jody. Carolyn Blesso. Thank you, Carolyn. This one doesn't have a name on it. Thank you. Inga Hicks. Thank you, Inga. Shantae Blake. Thank you, Shantae. Denise West. Thank you, Denise. Charlene Richardson. Thank you, Charlene. This one doesn't have a uh, name on it as well. Angela Rhodes, thank you, Angela. Karen J, thank you, Karen. Roz, <laughs> thank you, Roz, Roz Blitz. Thank you guys so much for the cards. I appreciate them, you know that. Now, this is the care box that Richard T sent me. I'm not gonna go through all of it. These are the uh, seasonings that uh, Elaine sent me. And then this one right here. And then Okay, I put the little carpium uh, wooden uh, thing that Elaine sent me away and I can't find it. I don't know where I put it right now. <laughs> but let me show you guys some of the things that was in this care package that uh, Richard T sent me. Some bacon bits, bits, some crumble bacon bits. I can see me putting this in some grits and y'all gonna see me putting it in some grits too. I'm not going through everything, some figs, some apricots, some tikka masala curry kit. I don't know what this is. I haven't opened it yet. And 
this is um i don't know how to pronounce that yet <laughs> but it's a lot of different foods and stuff in here here's some refried pinto beans but you get the idea of what this care package is about uh-oh all, all over the place I'm gonna put this back in the front seat because that water is already boiling. Something else I bought is this wind. scissors I'm too short I can't see nothing in here I'm gonna put a little more uh, broccoli in there. I have another bag. <clears throat> now it says to simmer. <clears throat> simmer for 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> simmer for 15, 20 minutes with the uh, top off. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this trash and I'm gonna put some more broccoli in here. Okay, I'm gonna add some more broccoli to this. And I'm also gonna add some more cheese if I can find it in here. Where is the, ah, there we go. Make it nice and gooey. <laughs> Look at that. Michael is on his way here. He called me when I was at the grocery store. He should be here by, um, I don't know, what time is it? I don't know because I'm filming with my phone. <laughs> he should be here shortly. I think maybe within an hour, hour and a half. Okay, I want to get some of the air out of this. So far, I'm enjoying my stay here at the campground. As many of you know, this is probably, not probably, this is the campground that I have been. This is the campground that I have been to the most. This is the first uh, all-male gay campground that I have been to, and I have been coming here ever since.
<laughs> Y'all see that gooeyness? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. That's how I like my pizza, too. You know how you eat your pizza, the cheese? That's how I like it. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. All right. I'm going to give this some more time, and then I'll see you guys when I'm ready to eat it. But you know what? You know what? It just hit me. It just hit me. Bam. I got to put me some pepper up in here. What was I thinking? I know some of y'all said, mm, Anthony ain't even put no pepper in there. Make it a little spicy. You know what else I'm gonna put in here? Hold on. Bam, some of these bacon bits. Why y'all ain't tell me? Why ain't nobody to answer me? Put some bacon bits in there. I wonder if that's enough. Y'all see that? Those naked people walk by. I'm put a little bit more in there. Man, this smells so good. I probably can eat this myself. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. be on now buddy I don't put some more cheese in there and some bacon bits ah man I was standing here thinking mm, I should have added some potatoes in here uh, while that water was boiling I could have had me some potatoes in there and then mm, that would it really would have been hearty now <laughs> oh man next time Almost there. I can't wait to use that little oven, boy. Uh, I think Mateo made some muffins in his, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make everything in there, boy. I'm gonna be baking chicken, I'm gonna be pizza. I'm gonna really put that bad boy to the test while I'm here at this campground. And thankfully, thankfully I have a lot of uh, butane cans. I brought 12 cans with me. So hopefully that will be enough for the next, I don't know y'all, cause I'm here until the 18th and then I go to a campground that's the next exit down for another week. So a total of three weeks, I'm gonna be up this way. 
I might have to drive back down to PA and go to my storage unit because I'm sure it's not, I'm sure as heck not buying any of it. <laughs> All right, this is coming along good. It's looking good. Let me get a spoon because I want to see if it's hot. I can taste the bacon bits. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. All right. Yeah, don't make a mess, Anthony. But that's how soup is. That's how soup is. Turn that off. That on there. Let's go inside. Let's go inside and eat. I told you guys this center console is gonna be the death of me sitting up in here. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I got my soup right here. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. I know it's going to be delicious because I added some of those bacon bits that Richard sent me. I added some more broccoli, some more cheese. And again, I wish I would have thought about the potatoes because that would have just elevated this hearty soup. But anywho, let me get into it because I know it's good. I know. You know too. All right. I see me. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. I'm sitting up <laughs> at the table and I'm eating. <laughs> How about that? Mm -mm -mm. Can we take a minute and appreciate my ice maker? Cause look at those cubes. Look at those cubes. Oh my gosh. I don't even put water in the refrigerator no more unless I'm on the road. But look at those cubes. Somebody told me, Anthony, you need to stop drinking this um, Diet Coke. I'm trying to wean myself off of it, but it ain't working. I'm gonna ask Michael, do he wanna make a cooking video with me in the back? So that might be coming up.
this is really good. Oh my goodness. It's a wowzer. I'm not even gonna lie. If I'm lying, I'm flying and I can't fly. This is a wowzer. It is so good. Mm. Out of a package at that. Who knew? Y'all see me sitting up eating. Even though I don't have the bowl on the table, I can if I want to. Mm. This is so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Y'all know as soon as I finish this video, these teeth coming out of my mouth. <laughs> I had them in all day. I did good today. I had them in all day. Mm. The grocery store that I went here up this way had these types of pretzels. I bought these pretzels last time I was at this campground. And man, I love these pretzels. These are Bachman thin pretzels. They are delicious. I know I took like three bags my last uh, day here last year at this campground. I went and bought like three bags of these because I knew I wasn't going to be up this way no more. And they don't have them down like even Maryland. So good. Mm. I might get Michael some of this soup for because after a long drive I think it's seven hours for him to get here I think something like that he might be hungry so here take some of this soup it's delicious it's a wowzer Wow, that piece of broccoli was hot as heck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Woo, that piece of broccoli was hot. <laughs> if I wasn't filming, I would have, it would have been like, uh, that would have came out, boy. <laughs> Ooh, that would have came out. Ooh, that was too hot. Mm. Let me blow this. Someone asked me, was it a pain in the behind to take the bed, put the bed down, take the bed up? You know, <clears throat> And I haven't been doing it long. You know, I'm still maneuvering my way around, trying to figure out what's the best way to do it from the inside. Because I don't want to have to do it from the outside. I don't want to have to be stepping out on the side, you know, and doing it. So I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I think I have a little routine now. I'll, I'll probably make a, a video of some sort, <laughs> a nighttime or daytime or morning time video soon to show you guys how I kind of manipulate things around but the part about that trying to record that is where would I put this camera because not a lot of room in here to have a camera <laughs> with a tripod up oh excuse me up in here so we'll see but I also said remember what I said y'all you know it's very little room where you can clutter things and put things because this is a very organized system look Y'all see that? Let me see. Wait a minute. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Look. I done put a basket down on the floor. <laughs> I done put a basket down on the floor. <laughs> I 
oh no, not me. I am not going to clutter this space up. It's hard to clutter this up because it's it's an organized system. I didn't put a basket on the floor. <laughs> and the basket is full up already. <laughs> I put a basket on the floor. When I went to storage unit, no, when I went to my mom's for the last time and, and picked up with the things that I had there, I had my seasonings and everything in that basket. And I was like, I don't want to get rid of my basket because I took the seasonings out and put them in the back of the little, little woven basket thing that I have. And I was like, I don't want to get rid of my basket. I already got rid of one of them. And I wasn't going back to PA to store it. So I put it right on up in here. It hasn't been in my way though. <laughs> mm. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this soup and my drink. Cause Michael gonna be coming through the door pretty soon. He probably stopped right here and say hello. Before his site is just down there. He's on a on a corner. I don't like his site. But anywho, <laughs> as always, thank you guys for. Mm, I got something stuck in my teeth. The life of a man with dentures. <clears throat> As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.